We still don't know exactly how it happened as the toxicology reports are still pending. Meanwhile, though, a community is in mourning. And tonight, the girls' elementary school held a candlelight vigil to honor their memories. ABC 10's Francis Wang was there. It was a night full of emotions and tears here at Westmore Oaks Elementary School in West Sacramento. Through their school community, we learned more about what type of girls these sisters were. They were kind, they were full of big dreams and compassion and love for others. We stand here today as a community of hope, even through seamless loss and tragedy. I'm so proud of this community to see everyone here today with candles, bright young faces lit up in support of the family. How much Sarah and Sophie will be missed was made clear by the tears and heartbreak you could feel at this vigil. Sarah and Sophia will be remembered and cherished, for they were each two of the sweetest souls you could ever meet. Sarah was only nine years old. Even as a fourth grader, her principal said she was mature, confident, and stood up against bullying. Known to be a friend to all, always including and inviting any and every student to join her who was alone. She willingly placed herself in the middle of a group of angry fifth grade girls who were ready to fight and convinced all of them to stand down. We will miss Sarah. Her older sister, Sophie, was only 12 in the seventh grade. She was intelligent, passionate, and had a heart for helping others. And helping to build two solar suitcases that will be sent to a school in Kenya to provide electricity so that their students too can pursue an education. Giving 100% to each and every endeavor was just who and how she was. Friendly and kind, and we will miss Sophia. As this sign puts it best, goodbyes hurt the most when the story wasn't finished. Amy all our love. For this West Sacramento community, the hurt is only made a little better by remembering the love they felt from Sarah and Sophie. Our girls will never be forgotten because their kind acts and gentle souls have left a forever impression on the hearts and lives of all of us who were blessed to have known them.